in this video we'll be looking at the division of sets and if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and hit on the notification bell that when a new video has been uploaded you would also be the first person to be notified now let's get started with the division of sets we are saying that if we have square root of a being divided by square root of b then an answer that we are going to get should be square root of c if and only if a is divisible by b now to put this short then we take our first example now with the first example we are considering square root of 12 divided by square root of 6 now at this point we can see that the square root of 12 is not in its basic form or simplest form which means you have to consider its factors and consider the possible perfect squares and then that will help us to reduce it to its basic form but we are saying that without going through that process if 12 is divisible by 6 then we can break it down that way and get the answer without going through the factors and then the perfect square procedure which means 6 cancel itself 1 or goes into itself 1 and then the same 6 goes into 12 2 times which means that our answer is going to be square root of 2 now the next one we can have square root of 21 divided by square root of 7 now without doing a lot then we can see that 21 is divisible by 7 which means 7 times 3 is going to give us 21 and since they are in a set form the answer is going to be square root of 3 and that is the division of sets now but that's the, we can also think of this example if we have that's the third one if you have square root of 77 divided by square root of 11 now you can pause the video and try and we can see that this 11 goes into 77 seven times so at the end our answer is going to be square root of 7 and this is the answer now we can also consider the next example and the next one we have square root of 1000 divided by square root of 40. Now 2 goes into 40 20 times and also the same 2 goes into 1500 times which means that we are going to have here as square root of 500 divided by square root of 20. Now to continue, we can see that this zero can cancel that zero and we are left with square root of 50 divided by square root of 2. Now we can see that the 2 goes into 50 25 times, which means our answer here is square root of 25. Now we all know that square root of 25 is 5, so we write our answer as 5. And this is how we can reduce it without going through the factors procedure and what we have been using earlier on. Now we can take the next example. And the next one, if we have 15 square root of 35 divided by, I think we have to write it as well. So we can clean this and we write our 5 very nice as such divided by 3 square root of 5 now to solve this we know this can be rewritten as 15 square root of 35 divided by 3 square root of 5 and we know that 3 goes into itself 1 and goes into 15 5 times which means we have 5 here and with the radical part or the set part, we can see that the 5 goes into itself 1. It goes into 35 7 times, which means our answer becomes square root of 7. And this is how we can break it down. Now, let's consider the next example. And the next example we have here as square root of 144 divided by square root of 2 and straight ahead we know that 
2 goes into 144 12 times. So it means our answer becomes square root of 12. Now this 12 is not in its reduced form or basic form, which means we have to break our answer down. We can do that by considering the factors of 12. And the factors of 12, we have 1, we also have 2, we have 3, we have 4, we have 6, and 12. And among these factors, the perfect square we have here is 4. And the number being multiplied by 4, we are going to get 12 from the factors of 12 is 3. Which means our 12 here is the same thing as 4 times 3. And so square root of 12, we are going to get square root of 4 times 3. And at the end, our square root of 12 is going to give us square root of 4 times square root of 3. Now by so doing then, we are going to get square root of 12 to be as 2 square root of 3. So square root of 12 is the same as 2 square root of 3. Now we refer to our question and means that our square root of 144 divided by square root of 2 is equal to square root of 12 and which is further equal to 2 square root of 3. And this becomes our solution to this question. Now having known this, let's get to the next type or format of the division of sets. We have here as write the following in simplest radical form a plus b square root of n where a comma b belongs to the set of rational numbers and n belongs to the set of integers. Our first question is 4 plus square root of 8 or divided by 2. And with this, you are just going to break it down and represent our solution as a plus b square root of n. And that's very simple. Now we can see that this 4 plus 8, the denominator, sorry, the numerator 4 plus square root of 8 is being divided by the denominator 2, which means 4 is being divided by 2 and square root of 8 is also being divided by 2. And this is how we can break it down. Now at this point, we can see that 4 divided by 2 are going to get 2 and we maintain square root of 8 divided by 2. Now we ask ourselves, is this our final solution? The answer is no, which means can be broken down to a further step. Now we can do that by considering the square root of 8. Since we know that the square root of 8 is not in its reduced form or simplest form, then we have to do that. Now in doing so, we have to consider the factors of 8. So which means we have here as the factors of 8. And the factors of 8, we know we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. And among these factors, the perfect square number here is 4. And when 4 multiplies 2, we are going to get 8. Which means our 8 now is equal to 4 times 2. Now, square root of 8 is going to give us square root of 4 times 2. And at the end, square root of 8 is equal to square root of 4 times square root of 2. And at the end, our square root of 8 can be simplified as, we know square root of 4 is the same as 2, square root of 2. So in place of square root of 8, we can put 2 square root of 2 here. And so our solution now becomes 2 plus 2 square root of 2 divided by 2. Now we continue and we can see that these two can take off, these two can take off these two. And we are left with 2 plus square root of 2 and this becomes our solution to the question now take into consideration that the question says we represent it as e plus b square root of n then it means remember we are to represent our solution as a plus b square root of n and if that happens then by comparing we can see that our e here is equal to 2 our b here is equal to the coefficient of the square root sign, that is 1. And the c here is equal to, that should be n, okay? So it means our n should be equal to 2. Our n should be equal 
to not square root of 2 because we can see square root sign here square root sign here so we are just considering the numbers or the radical and that is our solution to this question now we go to the next question of this form and the next one we have 12 plus square root of 72 divided by 6 just like we did for the first one then means we are going to get 12 divided by 6 plus square root of 72 divided by 6. At this point, we can see that 12 divided by 6, we are going to get 2. And we have 72, square root of 72 divided by 6. Now, we can see that the 72 here, or the square root of 72, is not in its simplest form. And we have to reduce it to its simplest form. We can do that by considering the factors of 72. I mean, the factors of 72, we are saying we have 1, 2, 3, we have 4, we have 6, we have 8, we have 9, we also have 12, we have 18, we have 24, we do have 36, and 72. And these are the factors of 72. Now, among these factors, are there any possible perfect squares? Yes, there are. We have 9 and 36. Now, these are the possible. And not forgetting that 4 is also a perfect square. Now, we take into consideration that. Now, among these perfect squares, we consider the largest perfect square and the largest perfect square here is 36 now what number among the factors of 72 when we multiply by 36 we are going to get 72 and we can see that the number here is is clearly um, 2 clearly 2 so it, it implies that our 72 here it implies our 72 is equal to 36 times 2. Now, if you are, you are saying we have square root of 72, then we should get square root of 36 times 2, which means our square root of 72 is equal to square root of 36 times square root of 2. Now, if that continues, then we are going to have square root of 72 to be the same thing as 6 square root of 2 because you know square root of 36 to be the same as 6. So having known that we do a quick substitution into our solution. So it means we have here as 2 plus. Now the square root of 72 now is known to be 6 square root of 2 divided by 6. And at this point we can see that the rational part is going to take out, take away the rational part. So 6 takes 6. Now we are left with this 2 plus now square root of 2 is also left and this becomes a solution to this question now this ends to this video on the division of sets and so thanks for watching kindly like comment subscribe and share this is Bakumat. see you in our next video